Thomas today. Uh, we're not doing any excursions or anything. We're just going to stay on the boat. We're going to get some footage of the old St. Thomas, one of my favorite ports uh, due to the fact that it is, well, pretty. Well, mountains and I mean, I guess they're hills to some people uh, watching this. Those aren't mountains. We got mountains. Well, these are pretty big for us in Florida. We are up on deck 11, overlooking the rear of the ship. There's space, so it looks like they might be getting another boat today. Apparently, I'm on camera. <laughs> As you can tell, Liz is filming. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, cute little tidbit from the locals. From basically that yellow house, if you can see it. There's a little stone fort in front of it. Right there. Yep. All the way over to there. Not the red roof one, the one to the left. Uh, they used to actually have a chain. So when pirates tried to come in, they would pull a chain up and not let them in. To the right, there's a little channel that they actually cut in far all the way to the right. Nope, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, so where all those buildings are right there, they actually cut that channel in. We found that out last time we were here. Um, that, that did not exist. It was a single harbor, but they cut that to have access to the other islands without going out and around. So there's your little St. Thomas history. Shows you how many times we've been here. Flying the Panama flag because we are officially docked. Go. All right, so we're just going to do a little walkie while it's a little quiet here because everybody's about to get off the boat. Uh, it is 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so I think it's 8 here. But everybody complains there's not enough chairs, there's not enough chairs. So wrong. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but there is a nice breeze today. Oh, the sky rides up and running. It was almost walked into a pole. <laughs> a pole. Yeah, it's gorgeous. A little warm. It's funny when you're out in the ocean, it's not that bad. You get in the land, it's like, Ugh. this is not a big land mass either. Blow your vents. If you're ever on the upper deck and you get warm, that's basically the exhaust for the ship, for the interior, so it's nice and cool. Yeah, you see, in back there, smoking section, there's a couple chairs and people just line up there because it's cool. All right, so now we are at the deck 11 look, overlooking Lido, which is 10 on this ship. And this is where the DJ plays. Cool little staircases up. Old classic actual wood ones, not like the new ships, where they're falling apart. They're closed half the time for repairs. Freaking hysterical. And there's the other side of St. Thomas. There's the main area, if you will. You can see all the stuff we disturbed in the water there. No massive yachts this time. Those docks are normally full of uh, billionaires and millionaires' yachts. Oh, there's a ship on the other port way over there. Kind of see it popping up. <coughs> Somewhere around there. <coughs> so there's actually another port in St. Thomas, which uh, all the other cruise lines actually use. This one's primarily Carnival. I have seen other ships here.
Chris just went to the deli for us. And I got my cruise ship tuna. He got his... Cuban. Cuban. We'll let you know how it is. Yummy. <laughs> we are leaving St. Thomas. There's my baby. 